Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to DC Guitars. Today we have a cool video. I'm going to be showing you how I film my guitar videos. This is going to be kind of like a two-part video. It's going to be in one video, but the first part of this video is going to be like the studio tour. And then the second part is actually going to be how I edit and stuff the videos and record the videos. So let's just get right into this. We're going to start off with this nice studio couch here. Just kidding. It's just a futon. Let's go straight to the guitars. This is my guitar collection. I actually just got this guitar rack for Christmas from my girlfriend Courtney. Thank you so much. This guitar rack's sick. I think it was like 30 something bucks on Amazon. It was a great deal. It's super good construction stuff and it holds nine guitars. I actually hopefully we'll get another one because we build a lot of guitars on this channel and I'm going to have a lot more than what I have now. So I'm probably going to have like two of them, just whole wall of guitars. But yeah, this guitar rack works great. I mean, holds the guitars securely, don't have to worry about them falling off. And you definitely cannot complain about the price. So yeah, let's uh, move on from that to my guitar workbench. Don't look at this stuff over here, because that's a future guitar build that you'll see soon. This is my guitar workbench, which is a dresser. Yeah, it's not very nice. Anyways, uh, it's just a guitar bench with a uh, blanket on top of it. It's a dresser. I just, you know, see, build my guitars here and work on the guitars and stuff in videos, which you've seen before. Got some, you know, guitar parts, guitar strings, knives, because I... I'm not gonna make that joke. Just so you know, I just use the knives for stuff like this. You don't gotta worry about me. Just stressing the wood, vintage look, stuff like that. Then I got uh, some guitar pick box right here. You know, got a bunch of guitar picks in there. Got a one made out of beach glass. Got some made out of credit cards. There's Courtney, driver's license. Which actually, if you're wondering how I made that, I actually have this cool thing called a guitar stapler. So literally you just put a card in here, any type of card, boom. Got picks. Miscellaneous drawer full of guitar stuff. Got a Hercules guitar holder, which I need to set up eventually. Got uh, some guitar straps and a random crap. Bunch of guitar parts from when I work on my guitars. So now we're gonna move on to the actual editing area. Before we start, let's take a moment of silence for George Michael. We love George Michael recipes. George Michaels. Right, man. So this is my guitar area. Got a nice box light. This is where I film. I usually sit in this chair. Boom. Camera's usually right here, but currently filming with it. And if you're wondering, I do use a Canon M50, so it is a nice camera. If you're looking to buy one, it's a good camera. But yeah, I got dual monitors. My guitar amp's actually down underneath. It's a PV Viper VIP1. Great practice recording amp. Um, sounds great. Not that expensive. I've had it for a long time. And what's nice is it actually plugs in right here with the computer cable printer cable, boom, right to there, USB to the back of the computer, and then it'll show up on any software that you have. And I also use this blue Snowball microphone for recording the audio. These are my Bose headphones that I use for when I'm listening to the guitar sound. That's pretty much it for like the outer audio and visual stuff. Now let's get into the actual editing. All right, so now we're on my computer, as you can see. So this is typically what you see in my videos. It's a little bit different angle, but just this is what you see. And what I'm gonna show you now is actually how I do my recording and stuff and the software that I use. All right, so I know this looks a little weird because it's like a mirror image, but I use OBS Studio and I put it on my display capture so I could show you guys exactly what I do within the system itself. All right, so within OBS Studio, what you're gonna do is create a scene by just clicking this plus arrow. There should be already a scene there. As you can see, I have multiple scenes. You can just add them by hitting the plus or minus. And then once you have your scene, what you're gonna do is go over to sources. So each source is like an individual product within your recording. So like right now, one source is my camera, Canon M50. So I can't actually add a source right now because I'm filming. So what you would do is you would press the plus sign it's going to come up with a list of things like audio, video, stuff like that. And you can add video capture which is my camera. So you would click video capture and then ask you to select which video capture you want. And once you click it it'll say like oh you have a camera or you have a webcam or you have your screen, stuff like that. So what I do is I have my camera, Canon M50, and then I have an audio input capture for when I'm just talking which is my microphone, the blue snowball. I also have a display capture, that's if I'm showing like a video on my screen, it'll hear the audio. I don't really use that much, but I do have it for when I do make videos like that. What I wanted to do is add a source to this screen so I can show you how I record for my amp. So what I would do is I would press the plus sign and I would hit audio capture. And because I have my amp plugged into my computer, it shows up as PV Viper. What that looks like, if I put my screen over here, is this, this is the PV Viper Edit software, and I can control my amps while I play. So I can go from like triple X to 6534, 6505, you know, twin amps, acoustic amps, a lot of different amps, and a ton of different pedals as you can see here. 
So many, so many pedals. Yeah, so what's really cool about this, if I'm doing a demo on a guitar and I wanna quickly switch between two different types of amps or two different types of pedals or whatever, just to demonstrate how the guitar performs, just a click of a button, I don't have to reach underneath my desk, do all that, I can just boom, click it and keep playing. Another cool thing is you can actually save presets and open presets and write them to your computer, to your amp. So I have this preset titles Angus as you can see uh, save it into my computer because I this is like an Angus tone I also have an SRV tone and they just save right to your computer you just click it open like that boom this is my SRV tone so you can just pretty much write into your amp as many different presets as you want and they'll always be there and then you can also open it up on your computer with a click pretty cool way to record it's super easy and it actually worked pretty well from what I've experienced so far. I've made you know many videos on this channel already and I've never really had a problem recording. If you do choose to go this route, it's actually a pretty good way, especially if you're starting off or in a small room or something like this or can't afford like the big stack amps with nice microphones that you put in front of them. You know, I'll have that eventually hopefully, but right now this is the best I can do and it actually worked really good. So now I'm gonna show you an example of that. But first, um, one thing that is a disadvantage doing it this way, if you want to listen to yourself playing, you have to have headphones on because when you have the amp being played through this software it does not come out of the amp so you have to have amp you know, headphones plugged into the amp so you can listen to it <laughs> So here's a demonstration of being able to switch the amps and stuff super quick. So I was just on the clean tone. So let's say you want to add like a wah pedal to the sound. I don't know how good this effect sounds because I never used it, but let's try it. That's definitely not my favorite effect, but you know, that's one of the effects you can do. So yeah, that about wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you find this helpful or whatever and like the video, make sure you leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We've been growing pretty quickly. I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving me. It's been going great so far, and I hope that we keep growing. That about wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this is Nate. Peace out.